Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now you can probably tell from the intro video that today's video is going to be very different from my normal tutorials. And that's because I'm going to be showing you something that I'm very proud of and I know you're going to really like. Now I plan to release different assets that will help elevate your web design, take your business to the next level, and help you beat your competition. And today I'm proud to announce I'm releasing my first packages, image overlays. These can help take your websites from looking really template-y to making it look like it was designed by a professional web design agency. Now if you're interested, I do have some free versions on my website, so the link will be in the description for that. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to apply these image overlays to your website. For this tutorial, I use something called strips. If you're not familiar with what Wix strips are, I will also have a link in the description for a video about that as well. All right, let's jump right in. So as we can see here, we have a very nice looking website. However, it does look a little template-y. So what we wanna do is make the site look more unique and add an overlay to this right image over here. And actually, this is a video, so you can use this for images and videos. So the first thing we wanna do is add a strip. So we're gonna come down here and press add. We're gonna go to classic, we're gonna add a strip. The next thing you wanna do is click the top strip and check the height. So this one is set to 800 pixels. So we're gonna come down to the second strip that we just added and set this one to 800 pixels. Now that we have set the height, we want to remove the background color. So we'll do change strip background, we'll go to settings and we'll lower the opacity to zero. Next, we wanna split this strip in half just like we see up here with this strip. So we'll go to layouts and we'll add a column. Now, if you have content over here on this left side, we're actually gonna have to move that over to this bottom strip. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna do that because we're actually gonna move this strip on top. Now, if you left the content on your original strip, sometimes your users won't be able to click the buttons or text or anything like that because it's gonna be hidden behind this invisible column right here. Next, let's go ahead and click this right column. We'll do change column background and we'll choose an image. Here is where you can upload all of your image overlays that you plan to use. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and click this one right here and we'll do change background. Okay, now if we preview it, we're gonna see that this is what it looks like. Now you can see that the left column is white and this one's kind of an off-white over here on the right. So you can leave that as is if you want, but I prefer it to match. So we're gonna click this left column right here. We'll do change background color and we'll choose the color of the background. And now they flow together very nicely and look very clean. Next, I wanna show you how to do this for mobile. So if we click over to the mobile view, this is what we're gonna see. We're gonna see the overlay here and we're gonna see the image down here. Now what we don't see is our text. So what we're gonna do is come over to hidden element and we'll do the group. We'll show this element. So now we have our text there. And the next thing we want to do is the same thing we did on mobile where we're gonna stack these columns on top of each other. So we're gonna set this one to, oh, it's already set to 250. So now we need to set this column right here to 250 as well. And I kind of want this to be at the top. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and move this to the top. And then we're gonna go ahead and delete this space. And now we need to move this image overlay to the top. So we'll do manage columns and we'll move it to the top. There we go. And now we can just drag this strip on top of that image, just like that. Now, sometimes you may see the image on top. So all you have to do is click that strip right there, come over to arrange and we'll send this to back. There you go. That's how you do it for mobile. Now I want to show you how to add an overlay to the full width of your website, just like this one. So as you can see here, this is a strip and it's not split in half. 
So what we want to do is go ahead and add another strip. And then this one, we're going to go ahead and change the background color to zero. Then we'll go back and choose an image and we'll choose the overlay that we want to use. And then we can go ahead and move this up. And you're going to notice that the overlay is not there. And that's because Wix automatically chooses the center of the image. So we're going to go into settings and we're going to choose the position to be at the bottom. And boom, that's what it's going to look like. Now, before I wrap up this video, I want to show you guys how to do it with an editor X. So here we have a very similar website. We're going to click this section right here. We're going to press, press apply grid. We're just going to choose the two by one and press apply. There we go. So now we can see there is two halves. We're just going to go ahead and add an image. So we'll just drag it out onto the page and then we'll press stretch. So that's going to stretch the whole image to the full width of that grid section. Next, let's go ahead and add another image. And this one is going to be our overlay. So we'll choose this one right here. We'll drag this one over and we'll press stretch with this one as well. And that is how you add these image overlays to Editor X. So now that you know how to apply these to your website, I wanted to remind you to grab your free image overlays on my website. And I also want to tell you guys what's included in the full version. Now the full version has almost 50 different overlay variations to match any style of website. Plus each of those variations has four different colors and some have different sizes to match whatever you need. Also, I included the project files. So if your website or your brand does not match the colors I provided, you can easily open up the project, change the color, export it as a PNG, upload it to Wix, and apply it to your site. Now I know some of you may not have the software I use to create this, so in the full package I also have a link to a video to teach you how to change the colors with and without the software I used. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please press that like button, and remember to grab your free image overlays on my website. The link will be in the description below. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you on the next one.